Uh, consistent listeners, longtime listeners of this program will be aware that I have a uh, a little bit of an obsession with Felix Sater. A little bit. Which is a function of the late Wayne Barrett, who was a multi-decade, 30-year-long reporter with the Village Voice, he may not have been with the Village Voice the entire time, but he covered Donald Trump for decades. And he had lung cancer the last several years of his life. He covered Donald Trump like no one else in the country for, uh, for years. One point, I think Donald Trump tried to buy him out, essentially. And, um, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. And we had um, Wayne on once, maybe twice, in the uh, run-up to the election. And I had spoken to him just a little bit about this as well. And the thing he kept saying over and over again is it's Felix Sater. And Felix Sater, of course, is uh, was is the guy, was the guy who was negotiating the Trump Tower in Russia. Felix Sater is, by all accounts, is reported to be an asset for the CIA and the FBI, so much so that Loretta Lynch, when she was the U.S. attorney running the Eastern District of Manhattan, wrote an affidavit saying what a great guy and how helpful he was when he was on trial for stabbing a guy in the face with a champagne flute, I think it was. Because he's smart. He also supposedly, according to reporting, I think this was in the Washington Post, was responsible for getting the cell phone, bin Laden's cell phone, that led to his assassination. Wow. Um, he was a money launderer. So he's kind of like a hero to you in a way, too. A hero he's to He's sort me? of, I could see you kind of admiring him in some ways. The champagne flute thing? No, well, I was giving you more credit than that. I was the, the phone number thing, the money laundering. Oh, know, yeah, all the things an I aspire guy. to. He's an interesting guy. Uh, he also was literally working for the Trump um, Inc. Uh, during this time, and... I imagine was being run out of the New York FBI office. Money laundering as a way of giving people, um, uh, giving these uh, agencies uh, information about the movement of money, it's probably weapons, uh, a whole host of things. And um, I suspect one of the things he was, he was ma laundering money from other places into this place, the United States. And I suspect uh, that it landed uh, somewhere in apartments uh, owned by uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I have theories about it, but they're all half-baked theories. But um, for some reason, you know, he's, he's testified, but apparently they were calling him back. And they were supposed to do this like three or four months ago. And it just sort of, they punted for no reason, it seemed. And uh, he was supposed to come in on Friday. Overslept. Didn't feel good. Fridays are tough. Yeah, Fridays are tough. Um, he claimed he had uh, claimed the uh, Michael Bruth Brooks Amendment and uh, didn't show up because he was sick. Wait, there's an amendment? All right, guys. Have a great it's rest of the show. It's constitutional now. I'll see you guys you maybe not necessarily soon. But uh, there's some story around him, and I suspect it has to do with the um, reported mutiny that was taking place at the New York FBI office uh, in uh, the fall of 2016. But who knows? Um, just interesting, strange stuff coming out of there. So, all right. Uh, with that said, I don't, I don't know why I went on that tangent because we were talking about Felix Sater. Um, yeah, because of Felix Sater. Felix Sater. That's your guy. It's my guy. I enjoy, I enjoy that guy. <laughs> He's very enjoyable for me to follow. And 
because we were talking about how he was going to supposedly finally going to testify. And then sure enough. Did you ever watch X-Files? Yeah. So there's like the cigarette smoking man who's like kind of the mysterious yes, one. The smoker, I think. They Those were the storylines I was always interested in, but I watched on TNT and it was kind of out of order. Um, but then you often would get just the monster of the week type storylines and those are less interesting. Right. I think Felix Sater sort of like the cigarette smoking man of this right. Trump saga. Right. It's true. He always just always seems to come back into the picture and then just sort of slides out. Don't know what that's about. All right. Uh, 